You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game today. Yes. Today we got the Act Normal podcast host on here. Yes. Y'all might know him, but these listen, y'all might don't know him. But you know, we're gonna introduce you who, to who these. Don't know. I'm just saying, you know, I, I, I'm just saying, <laughs> might don't know who we got who here. Don't know them. Today we You're got. Right, everybody don't know Beyonce. Listen, they don't. Today we got Jazz Dior, Jada Waiter. They on here. They doing their thing. They gonna give y'all some game. Mm. You know what I mean? They gonna, you know, we gonna get them some game about this podcast space and making some money. But you know, ladies, we gonna get straight to we gonna cut to the chase. We gonna get straight to it. How does it feel to be out here moving and shaking, and having people look at y'all and seeing which way to move and making a decision on how they move based off of how y'all moving out here? The pressure is there for it's real. Team was that? So it just it really just puts you in a state of mind where you feel like you always have to be perfect and you always want to do the right thing. And then I'll sit back and we'll talk, have conversations with each other, and we like. We just got to do us at the end of the day. Because once we go to feeling like we got to do this because so-and-so watching or little girls look up to us, that's when we trying to please people. And we you can't do it to please people. You got to just be your authentic self. So. Yeah, it takes the organicness out of it when you're trying to do it for a reason, you know? And we just try to give people our true selves, you yeah. know, with anything we do with the music, with our clothing brand, our podcast, which is why we started the podcast. We just want to give people the authentic us. How do y'all maintain a friendship in this day and time when Everybody is so quick to, oh, I don't fuck with them no more. I don't fuck with, like, everybody just breaking up out here. The friendships is not what they was, you know, back in the day. It seemed like everybody is so quick to find a reason or let outsiders find a reason about why y'all shouldn't be fucking with each other. So how do y'all maintain y'all bond and y'all friendship? I think what helped with us is we came up in this together. Like, before all of the glitz, before everything. Before social media, it was just us. was a thing. <clears throat> it's mm-hmm. always just been us. Yeah. Just, I was 13, she was 12. So, so you we had a found. Go get me a soda. No, okay. but it's just been like we had the foundation. We always talk about that in any relationship. As long as you got a foundation, nothing could come in between that. So we just always was eye to eye when it came to what we got, and nobody else could get in between that. Now, you get into the game, Jada. You're a young girl. You hustling t-shirts. You slam that. You go to the printer, tell him, listen, man, I ain't got it like that. But I'm gonna figure out. We can figure out how I'm gonna pay and borrow it wind up pivoting that to the hair game. Being that age, how was it for you starting a business? Like, and, and where did the ideas come? And where did the bravery come? To just say, I'm gonna just start something. I'm not gonna lie, the bravery came from my dad. Mm-hmm. Um, just kind of putting the battery in my back to say, you, he always would tell me, and this was before anything, before I even had the amount of followers. I probably had like 140,000 followers when I was 16. So he would tell me like, you Kim K without the mixtape. I meant the same. <laughs> Not the next day. You, he will always tell me that. He, him and his say it's crazy. He always keep a saying. And um, he like, you could, like, you have a real platform. Like, all these people who you promoting now, they making a killing off of you. It's time for you to start your own brand. Mm-hmm. So um, I started my brand, and it just took off. And it just made me want to just keep doing it. And I just grew to just love making money and being my own boss. So, See, hold on. That's why dads is important. Dads are Moms. very important. Yeah, you know I mean, stop chasing a lot of dads away because he don't want to glaze you and bleed you. He the mama chasing away. He done moved off, so now he ain't shit. He was, I'm just saying, it's a lot. It's dads is important. I'm just saying. Now, shout out to her daddy. He was a real one. Well, my stepdad because he oh, like step, step, stand, stand up nigga dad. for sure because he didn't have to dad. do that. You yeah. said your dad. Yeah. That's your dad. Yeah. Don't throw steps in there now. No, you're right. <laughs> no, but I'm yeah. saying you got to. You got. I like to identify that. Absolutely. Go to but, fill in the title, right? Yeah, but you know, shout out to him because it took for him to give you some advice. And like you said, my confidence came from my dad. My my dad believed in me, so I was like, you know what? Let me give it a shot. And it worked. And it worked. Like you getting in the music game, Dev, some years back, like, how is it for you now with so many different changes in the music game? Because it's like, it ain't just about music, it's about the way you dress, it's about right. what you posting, it's about who you dating. So how do you stay confident when you're going into the studio to be able to create with all these different distractions coming your way? Honestly, it's hard and sometimes I be getting a little, like I fall in and out of motivation with it. <clears throat> but what helped me is just doing things that's organic to me. Like when I go in the studio, I don't like for my team to be telling me like, okay, this trend right now, I feel like you should do this or I feel like you should like keep up with this way. But this is a new trend every day and everything just don't work for everybody. So I think once I put that in my head, I just do what feel good to me. Like I just did an Afrobeat song. Never would have mm. thought yeah. I would have been doing an Afrobeat song, but I did it. I liked it and it still felt good to me, but it was something that was on brand and like trending. So yeah, I think that's how I like stay focused with it. But how do y'all stay focused as women? Because it seems like now, 
a lot of people be trying to minimize women, don't give them any credit. So what they try to do is put all the women against, against each, each other. other. Yeah. And it's like, no, y'all really killing stuff as women out here now. But it's like you have all these people that try to put all these distractions and separate the women so that y'all can't even see how strong y'all is right. together and how y'all really destroying. Because a lot of people is intimidated. A lot of men is intimidated. And they try to say, let's utilize the media to put her against her, them two against them. So they won't even recognize what type of power they got. And now we got a bunch of women that's watching, picking sides, cheering it up in the comments. Mm -hmm. So so it's like y'all got all that to deal with and still got to, you got to be a mom. You got to be creative. You got to come up with these ideas. How do y'all stay focused? Because you got 10 blogs on your head every day. They want us to crash out. Like, I feel like they want all the women to really crash out because I don't see as many people putting men against each other like they put women against each other. The men doing it on their own. Yeah. It's like they, they see it working for the girls. They're like, let's yeah. try this. But I think it's a thing for a woman so bad because they do it with me and her. Mm -hmm. And they just know they can't with us. It's not going to happen. I think it's because we but know that. We know, we know what they're trying to do. We know they're trying to, like, pin us against each other. Like, they'll try to give me a compliment, Shade Desk, or Shade Desk give me a compliment. It's like, shut up. We, like, we, pay, we don't pay that no attention yeah. but um we, we just don't go for it mm -hmm. you, got, you just got to be stronger you know than all of this media because what it is meant to do is to break strong yeah. people yeah like i really feel like that's the whole point of becoming successful building a fan base building supporters it's like once they see that once they see that growth it's like they they whole plan is to try to like mm -hmm. we taking that shit away from her we going we want to see her fall we want to see her fall but knowing the eyeballs is on y'all every day how, how do that, that feel? Like every day, everywhere you go, you go to the grocery store, you go here, you jump on the flight, you in this city. They well, she pulled up in a pink yeah. tank. Yeah, she pulled up so in a spaceship. She, she know they looking. Because yeah. I was like, who the <laughs> pink tank? This episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game is brought to you by no other than New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, life ain't going your way. You know what? Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught your bitch cheating today. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. You had a hard day at work and your boss was working your goddamn nerves. Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. Oh, oh, the WNBA. You about to watch Caitlin Clark? You about to fall back and enjoy this game? Shout out to New Amsterdam Vodka. Is the official vodka for Barstool Sports and the presenting sponsor. No. It's the official sponsor for Barstool Sports. It's uh, distilled five times. It's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. You can drink it straight up. You can drink it on the rocks. Or you can make a classic New Amsterdam mule. Or you can drink it with juice and soda. That's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, you know what to do. New Amsterdam... New Amsterdam, don't you walk past it. So when you home and you 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 know you're about to check out the WNBA and you looking at Angel Reese, fall back, man. Make a cocktail or something. You know what I mean? Do your favor, man. New Amsterdam vodka, the official vodka bar stew sports. Why would you drink anything else? Right. This episode of Me and Osworth for Game is brought to you by. Super cuts. There's nothing more satisfying than making a smart choice. Am I right? Especially a smart hair choice. At some salons, you don't know what you're getting into. Nope. Not true at super cuts. They deliver close to 22 million cuts in 2023 with an average rating of 4.88 out of 5 stars. Why such high remarks? I know why. Because they're slice you and dice you. Get your tie dyed and laid to the side. Because whatever cuts you need, they can provide. And Supercut Stylist has ongoing training way beyond what you receive at cosmetology school. So for your next haircut, use your head. Head to your local Supercuts. Real smart hair. For a real smart hair experience, simply walk into Supercuts or visit Supercuts.com to find a salon nearest you. Supercuts. I mean, what are we talking about? Trying to look good? Supercuts. No other way. Right. Who the fuck? Oh, that's Jada. What's happening? <laughs> she little as shit jumping out that motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> my <laughs> Big <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's Jada. What's happening? 
They pulling up in all types of shit back to back. I'm like, okay. They out here doing it for real on these. Oh, wait. We then, gonna plug it. We gonna plug then it. Then they the jump out with they both got six wow. bracelets on. They got diamond rings on their thumbs and shit. I'm like, man, I ain't okay. No, I ain't no motherfucker. You're not doing that. You're doing the same f right. So they give a bitch this. All right. <laughs> you hating bitch. So a thumb up on you. Bitch. You see them cash. I'm gonna use that. Thumb. Oh Thumbs up. Bitch. You see the cash. You got the plane, the all types of paddocks on and shit. Like, they jumping the fuck out. They getting money. Let me ask y'all a question. Being that y'all popping out here getting money, you know? Because I'm a person that I believe 50% of what I see and none of what I hear. You popping, baby father popping. How y'all manage to stay private? Because if you listen to the blogs, y'all break up every week. Y'all ain't together, but then you see them together. So, you know, you be like, ah, oh, they, they just do shit for clickbait or whatever. How y'all keep shit private? Nothing that me and him ever got going on or had going on was for clickbait. No, like, no, no, it's just, no, 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 I get saying, what you're saying, but I'm the, throwing the, that I'm out the, there for them. No, no, not you clickbait. Oh. I'm talking about, the, okay, they not together this week, and then you'll see them together. Clickbait for the media. Oh, for the media. Yeah, like you'll they'll see post them together okay, tomorrow, okay, okay. and it's like, Y'all just said they wasn't together, but they is together the next day. Like, so, you know, you, you can't believe really none of that shit. Oh, you yeah, understand yeah. that they do a bunch of shit for clickbait. But how y'all keep shit private? Like, how do y'all manage to keep things private in a world where everybody watching? Everybody's trying to get clickbait. Everybody's trying to get some views off another off motherfucker. Yeah. How you keep shit private? Um... That's the thing with social media. It's like, if you don't post it, nobody gonna see it. So it's really a way to live your life and keep your privacy to yourself. If you're not just posting everything and just wanting people to see it, you know? But you don't feel like when y'all do wanna do like certain things, like for the kids, people invade y'all privacy? We don't do it. You gotta take you it by yourself. It. It's like, that's just what it and is. And that sucks. But Man, that's, but that's messed up. It's fucked up because it takes the you, it takes, a lot of the human aspect out mm -hmm. of it. Right, yeah, no. Because it's... at the end of the day, right, I go as I want, I do as I want, I don't give a fuck. Because I truly got a fuck button. Mm -hmm. So he'll tell you, I'm never, even with my wife, me and my wife could be in the crib, be going back and forth. The minute I leave out the crib, I, you know how many times I returned home and forgot we was Argue. <laughs> I walked in, babe, what you cook? She like, oh, so now you wanna be nice? <laughs> I'm like, oh sh we was arguing. Hold on, I gotta, I'm supposed to be mad right now. You you right. I ain't nice right now. <laughs> so it's like, if you ain't got a fuck button in this game, you in trouble. You yeah, in trouble. Yeah. You cannot give a fuck. I personally post that I know it could be a crackhead that look like me. I post that I see that shit. Oh, what I posted, you ain't talk about this me. I know it's about to get 15,000 comments. That is you, OG. Yeah. I seen you with them sneaks. Yeah, sometimes so, you got to troll back. Sometimes you got to. I don't to give show. a fuck. The moment you show them you care, that's when they really fuck with you, though. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but I would just say, yeah. That, that, that's really how social media is. The moment you show some weakness. Oh, they on you. <clears throat> they on your ass. Oh, they like, get that. So true, sir. Yeah. Get that. Yeah. Get him. They like, we got him. Blitz him. Get her. <laughs> Jada slip. Get her. <laughs> so, so like, you can't give a fuck, man. You have to, you have to embrace your flaws and be cool with it. Because you know this, right? Any who, say if you walked out this building, right? And you slipped right now. And you fell in the lobby. And a caught that on tape. And then they posted it up. They going to kill you in the comments. But guess when you stop them from killing them? When you post it and say a bitch broke my ankle today. Oh my God, now, now what's it, what they gonna do? We literally had a situation like that. <laughs> what they, what they gonna do now? Dubai. Dubai. I, I put the oh, joke well, on was, myself. We was falling. Literally laughing at us. Yeah. Like, you, laughing. It's hard to joke on them and joke on itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The joke is when you can't take the joke. So it's like, oh, they mad, we got them. Right. Joke yeah, on them some more. Yeah. When you joke on yourself, it's like, ah, what the we gonna do right. so when you got a button in this game 
you'll last a long time. When you value people's opinions and how people feel about you that don't know you, ain't probably never gonna meet you, ain't got shit to do with your bank account, you're gonna lose. All right. Thanks. How do y'all how do y'all deal with this? This is major. Women is out here doing their thing on a whole nother level. Wherever you wherever you in from the hood, wherever you popping on social media, wherever you at. How do y'all deal with how do y'all deal with the fact of how do y'all deal with um, dating? Because now we got dudes, there's it's so many groupies out here. A dude to date you and be more attracted to the man that you used to deal with more than being attracted to you. They, they ain't, dude ain't even worrying about how good you look, how much of a beautiful woman or care woman. Motherfucker be like, Oh, you know that so and so people's. Yeah. Oh, you know that so and so people. Even when he show you, even when he show you to his homies. Yo, this is such a such. So a baby how do y'all deal right with here. this? Y'all scared to death? Yeah, Hell yeah. That's why I'm real. People' intentions be wrong. I'm real crit, crit or I'm real specific about who I do give my time to, only because I know like you only you only trying to do a thing because my baby daddy is who my baby daddy is. So. And it's crazy. That'd be crazy to me that men be more infatuated with the man than the woman. Man. It's yeah. so confusing. It's, it's low. You be introducing them up, yeah, this is such and such baby mom, right? Yeah, yeah literally. Got no name? How do y'all, but, but listen, how do y'all, how, how do y'all feel about that, y'all? How do y'all feel about that when y'all notice it? Do y'all ever notice that shit? Like, yeah, oh, absolutely. We very aware. We, very. One thing about us, we be knowing. Yes. And it, it sucks because it's like one of those things where you might not realize till it's too late. And you're like, I done gave my time to a lane. Like, this was on that the whole time. And you don't realize that till you stop talking to him. What's the five is five lamest a guy could do? Five lamest. Top five. Top five lamest a guy can do. Talk about his money, what he got going on if he's not giving it to me. Boom. Talk, talk about the girl oh, that okay, he hold, used to talk wait, to. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Talk break about. that down. Break that down. Don't talk about that cash if you ain't gonna pay. Yeah, like you I, I just brought such and such and such the other day, but you still haven't done nothing for me. Mm. <clears throat> like, I don't wanna hear about it. Hey. <laughs> like I don't even care what you just brought. It don't matter. All right, fuck. Don't but talk about the number move two. If you ain't passing number two. Over. Go ahead, number two, friend. I don't want no guy who's gonna talk about his past situations. I don't want to hear about your baby mamas or your past mm. girls. Like, mm. That's lame to me. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, number three. Mm. These are top. Don't be I'm just two. saying. Don't be bringing them. Oh, them, them, them OBUs. Them old up. Yeah. You hear me? Don't be bringing them OBUs. <laughs> As you doing, nigga. All right, these are top five. Well, that's that's three. Uh, three. Dang. Okay. Oh. What's like a cringy thing? It's so many. I would say. What do we be talking like? Uh, he, he did this. Like it just ill. It just be when they just be doing too much. Maybe yeah. not. It's like they trying to prove themselves. Yeah. Like, you don't have to prove yourself. Forcing it. Like just be who you are. Right. Because I'm already yeah. like, here with you. Don't talk about your money. Don't talk mm. about what you got going on. Like I know who you are. Let it speak mm. for itself. Let it. Yeah. Let it just speak for itself. All right. Four. Mm. Four. Um, Y'all gotta give us two more. Oh. Mm. Come on. Don't get on hands. Cause Cause Y'all know. Y'all talking about this. Y'all, when y'all no, ride around. Too internet y. Too what? internet y. Oh, like real mean? chatty on the internet. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's too much internet. What like, you mean when you say that? Chatty. What's chatty? I was like, you say, on the chatty internet, on the internet you mean like. YouTube you, friendly. You posting memes? No, not even oh. like. Not even being friendly. Oh. Well, being friendly is a, a red flag, but like. You posted <laughs> memes. <laughs> Let's get to that afterwards. No. <laughs> but like, you posted memes. When we mad at each other, you run straight to the internet to yeah. like tweet about it or post about it. That is lame as fuck to me. Oh. Putting people in the mix. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, that, that counts as like putting people in the mix. Yeah. We need one more. Mm. Y'all got it. Y'all got five. Y'all got it. Come on. Because we're going to put the chart like up. like the main red flags. Yeah, okay, so we said, um, you just said being friendly. Cappy. Okay, being yeah, so we can say bring, be net. too yeah. friendly. Who's friendly? Friendly just mean like Horn just eyes, extra nigga. joke. Yeah. Like what you be in so joke chatty. for? They say joke. So chatty. Like, they say, no, for <laughs> me and my wife got a saying. Go ahead. Hard eyes turn to black eyes. Fuck it, you tell me. Exactly. Exactly. No facts. Cause like okay. what you, you just <laughs> joke. Like why you all friendly? What you being Everybody friendly Everybody already too accessible <laughs> on the internet anyway. And you on here being friendly. Yeah. Two said hard eyes turn to black eyes. Let's Even in person. Like don't be too friendly. Not if you mind. Like I need a Ain't no reason you speaking mm -hmm. hard those in the club. No, it's a difference. It's, hold on. You could be friendly. Don't be flirty friendly. Fr nigga. Flirty friendly. Okay, yeah, you're right. Because I'm friendly. I'll be there. Yeah. But I'm friendly to everybody. So it's, 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 you can't say nothing. It's like, oh, it's not True. like I'm just a friendly detractor. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a friendly to I'm just a good person. Yeah, you're just a good person. Yeah, 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 right. I you get feel it. the <laughs> vacuum bags. I'm 
friendly to everybody. What's up, baby? What's poppin' with your mama? Yeah, yeah I only so, have five. That's so, five. We, we, we that's five. five. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, now, y'all what, got... What's the five things that y'all love for a guy to do? Mm. Talk to me. Communicate. Mm. Communicate. Know how to oh, talk damn, to me. Yeah, know that. how to talk oh. to me. Court me. When you say, break it down. Communicate. Break that down. You just like, you know, gotta know how to communicate through your emotions, your feelings, like when you happy, when you, I feel like communicating can give me a lot of reassurance. You know? Now, when you say this, go ahead, the reason I'm asking this, do a dude gotta show that he on you and don't be nonchalant? Yes, like, I need to know, you. It's, I need that reassurance. That's yeah, the only way I'm gonna know you really with me. Yeah. Now, if you're not being, if you're not sweating you, you gonna show him, show him he need to? I'm that type. Like, you I'm petty. A, I'm going to pull it out of you. You yeah, petty. Yeah, 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 for sure. So you going to go do some shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's sweating involved? Sweat, because what the f is sweat like? What, like what sweat you is do? like checking up checking on Checking up on, being on up me. Being up on a baby. I, mm -hmm. like, like always letting them know. She need to know 15 times a day, you my baby. I can't yeah, tell me I, mean, I look good. Later. All that type that's what she. That's what they say. No, but see, no, you can't do that. Because see? that Get annoying. No, it don't. No, it's yes, not. it not do. I'm saying I don't. I'm telling you, you know, it's been with somebody for 26 years. We might talk once, twice a day. You see that shit for 30 seconds. What's up, babe? I ain't doing nothing. We just not ass. We about to film. All right, love you. What you want for dinner? All right, we gonna talk. I'm gonna glaze you and blaze you when I get home. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. whistle in your. But, okay, but, but y'all how many years in? Y'all with the spoon on the end. Y'all are married. Yeah, yeah and y'all how many gotta, years in? Y'all married. Huh? Y'all how many it's years different. in? So 26. When so, you first met her, it was different. Exactly. You had to glaze her. Like, y'all didn't build I'm the foundation. Not, hey, don't sit here and But care. I'm not right. nobody that really, here tell you. I'm not, I've never been a person that talk on the phone like that. Hold up, shut up, shut up. Hey, Toot, I got you, I'm, I got you on the show. You, you hear me, Toot? Uh-huh. Now, listen, we got, we got Jada here and Dez, and I asked them, what is something that they like to do to do? And I said, oh, you like to do to sweat you? I got this goofy right here, your husband. Now, let me ask you a question. Would you be annoyed if this text you multiple times a day? Baby, is you all right? Baby, what you doing? I love you. I miss you today. Would you be annoyed by that? As my man or just some guy? No, I'm talking about your husband. husband. This nigga right here. <laughs> what man are you talking about? Yeah, what the fuck is you? Going on over there. No. See? No, I'm saying you're as, like, if I was, you know, single. No, I don't mind. What would you like it? Uh -uh. Huh? Would I like it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is No, okay, shut up. Shut up. Let me tell him what you said. Let me just tell him what you said. He said, you you text, you call like 15 times a day. Hey, I'm just not making a deal. No, 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 she said, I would be like, why is you calling me all day? Not Don't call me all day. No. Thank you. We talking about the lit, like, just the little no, gesture. He, 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 he did 20 years in jail. He didn't really call him <laughs> baby, I'm just checking up on you. How the kids doing, baby? The baby's all right. Make sure the baby's oh, is good. All that dumb shit. <laughs> baby, you and Bally, take your ass back to sleep. No, 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 no. Uh, I think like a text, you know, throughout, maybe like a text during the day. Like just That's what yeah. I said. Yeah. Yeah. I years. said we talk twice a day. Babe, what you doing? Not, I'm here with this. Not yeah, but do you reassure film. her? You can Love. reassure her during the day? Yeah. No, she told me she loved me. She no, what the fuck? I don't think you catch. Oh, you got like f***ing. Okay. I was the catch, baby. Tell her I was the catch. <laughs> no, he's not. He's he's trying to do it. Yeah, he's trying to do it. He's showing it off, off, too. Yeah, he's trying to do it. off. Th this ain't nothing I ain't never been told her. To. See, that's what I, I, I'm me. But no, you know this what? This ain't like, that's oh, we I got think. some girls here. Now, I'm now, too, now, you I'm know what? me. That's why. <laughs> I've been told her this. You got, let me tell you, understand this. When I met her, I walked up on her and I smelt her hair. And I said, you got all this long I can be this hair. I said, just got body. I said, you don't need no Paul Mitchell products or nothing. I bet you when you run your shit bounce, don't it? She said. <laughs> that was a, that was a. No, you know what? She never heard that shit in her life. I know, but you still you know blame what she her. Heard? That's what we You know saying. what she heard? But Shorty, what? excuse me, miss. Can I talk to you? Because she ain't never heard no uh, young. So, so you just this, made his point valid. What? Listen, but what I'm saying is, do you know what day it is today? What? You don't even dig it. The day is side Sunday. That's why she in Bali with a side. I let her have a side. But that's, that's why this going on. Yeah, when you had, listen, when you had one day, 17,439 times. Sunday, too. Cool. I, I hope you enjoy yourself with Mike. It's cool. Because this, Mike over there. See, when you got to understand it, we got to understand it. No, no, hold up. Two, what you say, too?
No, we don't have an understanding. Stop saying that. He's a guy. <laughs> All right, dude, I'm going to let you go ahead and enjoy yourself in Bali. <laughs> All right, enjoy your day, cuz. <laughs> now, now, what I'm saying is, okay, you got the communication down. What else? Because you obviously, women want dudes to sweat them. If you're not sweating me, you being nonchalant, I'm going to show you why you should be sweating me. Because I'm going I'm to show you it ain't sweet over here. That's you what you're saying. All right, bet, because you petty. You're saying. Court so, me, take me on. All right, bet. Number two, what's the second thing y'all want dudes to do? The, the show that they want you. You gotta court me. Take me on dates. We want to go outside. We want to go do the fun things. The mm. flowers. 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 Mm. Flowers. Oh, flowers. Flowers. Mm-hmm. Flowers. Flower. Gifts. Do yes. gifts got a price range on it? Mm-mm. The smallest things matter. Yeah. Smallest things. Like, I'm matter. not. I'm, I'm not hard to please. Attention to detail. I love details. Yeah. Like if I say I like these flowers next week, they at my door. A thousand cool points. She got a point system. All right, now, yeah. what, what else? She tell them. Okay, so we you say, know you down we said courting. Communication, communication, courting. Courting. Um, you got to be able to please me. Like, in every aspect. Not just, like, I'm talking mentally, physically, everything. Like, mm-hmm. we got to mentally have some type of attraction. Um, you got to be able to have, like, we say communication, but, like, intense like deep conversations like i i like to go deep like i want to be able to pick your brain and you able to like really be here with me you know yeah like i want to hear about your childhood yeah i want to hear about your family like really going into detail about who you mm-hmm. are as a person why are you how you are mm-hmm. all right now how much does count on the scale come on let's stop the bullshit. how much does count on the scale if a nigga ain't Sex really, is up there. If a nigga doing all those things right we gotta have good sex. Yeah, we gotta that matters. Oh. Yeah. That matters. Like that's like up there. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you met a guy, there. right? Hypothetically speaking, you're single, you meet a guy. Oh my god. Before y'all even get to that point, you like, this is the sh he know exactly what to do. He know exactly how to play it. He know exactly how to talk to me. Mm-hmm. I ain't had butterflies in my stomach in ten years, bitch. In my head I already it's crazy. <laughs> and then you get it in his trash. It ain't even gotta be trash. It's like, eh. It's like. It ain't what you anticipated. Right. I feel like over time it could get there. Yeah. I feel like if you really like somebody, mm-hmm. they just gotta know how to do the bare minimum. And it's eventually you'll start growing to love it more. Yeah. And y'all learn each other by You'll so learn. Like, you'll <laughs> learn. I definitely. What's <laughs> funny? For real, like that. I genuinely feel like that. I've never had an experience like that, but. Y'all disagree? No, I'm, well, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm listening. Uh, Nick, let me tell you, if you a man and your woman make up excuses for you like that, you gotta learn my body. No, for real. That's true. That's true, though. You gotta no, that's, learn that's, that's, little kids. No, 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 I'm not gonna lie. No, for real, that's true. Because over time, you really. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. But, but, but let me ask you a question. When the guy come right in and he put his thing there, he ain't had to learn nothing. Right here. He hit the that. back of that nothing. Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, he gotta make up excuses. If he get that in time, he gonna learn my body. Oh my God. <laughs> you is in trouble, buddy. Now, <laughs> now a question. Um, time or money, and I'm gonna ask you before y'all answer this. We live in a time now where it's though, rather you a D-boy getting on the street, Rev you a big time artist, rev you an athlete, an entrepreneur, real estate, whatever. Everybody gonna buy you the same bags. They gonna take you to the same restaurants, mm. the same trips, and all that. So what is we doing? What is more important, your time or money? Because what you ready to get tomorrow, you already got it already. Right, mm. right, right. So the experience. So so what is more important? Because you said, don't talk about money if you ain't giving me none. That's cool and all, but what is more important that time, or that or that same. That you've been getting for the last five years from a dude that you talk to, you see what I'm saying. So what is more important for me right now is time. Yeah, yeah. I would say time as well, cause like I don't date to get shit out of me. Like I'm past that stage of my my life. I've always dealt with guys with money since I was in high school. Mm-hmm. So like that's like the least of my worries. You have to have some type of stability in case I gotta fall back on you. But like I've always had my own motion. I've always had my own business. I always had my own shit going on. So I never needed to date a nigga for nothing. But I would say now, just all my life, I date for love. I date for a partner. I date for marriage. I'm not just around with anybody. Like, if I'm fucking with you, I'm seeing the future with you. So I would say I date for time. Can a guy have less than you and you f*** with him? <laughs> oh, why you saying love? I, I hear you, you clearing your throat. You I was, said, <clears> throat> yeah, you said, no. 
No, I ain't hear you. That's what I'm saying. No, oh, I, yeah, no. No. I'm not. I, I have to have. I feel like. Like, that's one of my. As a man, I feel like you just should have more than me. Like, yeah, because. Dating somebody that doesn't have more, they're going to try to make you feel less than yeah. as a woman. That's how I feel genuinely. Um, I know girls who are more dominant in the relationship as far as financial status and their boyfriends try to dog them out just to make them feel like they not that big and I never want to be a part of that. I'd rather deal with a nigga I know got more than me. Dog me out rather than me. No, don't no, say dog. No, but really, I'm, I'm talking for Please. like, because at the end of the day, all these getting cheated on. That's you believe like, that is? That's how oh, I feel. Men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. You ain't okay. so oh, please. Well, that's just, I'm saying that's how I feel. In in some type of aspect, every woman <clears throat> is getting cheated on. That's I just I was talking to my mama about that. Like, she was saying it's literally human nature for men to for just, For men to like, just naturally be. It's just how it, it is. We're literally made from animals. So, we have that in us. You see something you like, you're going to mate with them. Like, that's. So, you saying men or you saying the men? Men. Men. men, oh, men. Or the women don't cheat. Men this prey on women. Yeah. Any animal is like that. They see what they like, they're going to get it. I feel like women have self-control. Men, it's like, y'all just don't have Hold up. Oh, no, 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 women ain't got no motherfucking self-control. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, okay, but no, can I go back to what I was saying? That's some back when our grandmoms, they had self-control. These new motherfuckers drop it like it's hot. Well, I'm speaking for myself. Right. I'm speaking for us. Drop down and get your ego on, girl. No, but what what was I saying that got me on this topic? What you were saying, you was talking about Oh, yeah, like, I feel like, Dating. If I'm gonna get dogged out, yeah, you but I, I'm, I don't want to say it like that yeah. because yeah, that could no, really get please. twisted, screwed. Mm-hmm. But if I'm gonna be in a relationship, I'd rather it be with somebody that I could actually that could benefit me rather than somebody that's taken away from yeah. what I got going on. Because mm-hmm. these men that don't have the financial status that you have, they are gonna try to just make you feel like you're not her. Mm-hmm. I've seen it. I have plenty of friends that got hella money. And they got a regular guy. That well, is it, when you say a regular guy, is it a regular guy or is it a, a, a homeless a dude that's because he need a place to stay or he trying to he she's taking care of him and he need that. yeah she low key taking care of him he dropping her off to work <clears throat> he taking her but that's what it's always gonna seem like when you mess mm. with somebody who don't have like who not who there not with there you with financially. you financially no, 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 always no, seem because, like you just me and driving my car no because you could make you could make right. $10 million this year. You could, you could, hypothetically speaking, because I know you might be in a relationship or whatever, you could meet a person that make, corporate dude, make 300000 He ain't f-ed up. He living all right. You know what I mean? He, it ain't like, oh, I ain't got to depend on you for nothing, man. I got my own little 63 Benz. You know what I mean? I got my condo downtown. I ain't, uh, I ain't got to depend on you for nothing. You get way more money than me, but I still got sh- going on. My credit score ain't on it too. I can go get some shit, you know what I mean? I ain't. So it's, it's different levels to being yeah. up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, but you don't feel like ego-wise that is still with the corporate yeah. If he know that his, his girlfriend is making $10 million and he got 63 in an account. I think, I think it only only fuck with him if, if, his, if his woman ain't soft. If you got a soft woman, you know what I mean? It ain't gonna fuck with you. But if you got a woman that when we get into an argument, you like, she get the fuck out, man. You gonna do, yeah. nigga? What's wrong with you? You broke it, and it's like don't make no argument. Yeah. Uh. Then that f- the man's ego because now when we back together and we cool and we lovey dovey, you can't tell me you ain't mean. And bitch called me broke. Right. Yeah. You called me busted and disgusted. You mean you ain't mean it now? I, I'm put this d- in your last night. Now you don't mean to know you meant it when you was mad. So now it is some bitterness there. But if you got a soft woman, that's you know, she might be about trying to help you elevate. No, babe, I think you need to do this. You need to do that. Yeah, I can help you do this too. So we can get some money together. We can open up this and that. So it's different levels. Because me personally, I always think that the man is supposed to be the man. That's just me. I don't understand a lot of women out here, how they can go through college, go do their whole life. They do everything right. They get an apartment, got their credit right, get their first car, and then they go get a n- that ain't got nothing not going on. Yeah. A raggedy ass. But then they like on. treat them so good, and they don't gotta worry about. It's a, it's 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 the different levels of treating you good. If a nigga ripping your refrigerator door off the hinges and yeah. treating you good and putting right. dents in your couch, it's yeah. treating you good. Yeah, nah, and right. eating, and eating all sense. the snacks up in the bed, playing sense. PlayStation all night. A lot of women is cool with that because a lot of women 
is facing a lot of insecurities. So yeah. they, they just want that other side of that bed warm. Yeah. Yeah, see, no. So they like, oh, he, he gonna come home to me. I like him. I, and a lot of women really operate off of their heart and not their brain. They yeah. let their heart cloud their vision. Because it'd be like, you break shit down, wait, you did all this your whole life to get to here, and this n ain't do shit to get to here. Why the f would you pick this raggedy ass out of all these n on planet Earth? Yeah. I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, so but it's it like, you don't get talked day. about either way. Yeah, literally. <clears throat> now, now, outside of all this, Des, what's going on with the music? What you got coming out? Who you want to do music with that you ain't? Or you might be scared to say something to them or DM and be like, can we get something going on? Because you know, in this game, everybody cool. Don't nobody want to be rejected. And you as a woman, you probably, if it's a male or whatever, or even as a woman, you probably don't want to uh, feel like you, you know, people take it the wrong way. You slide to somebody, they start feeling themselves. Like, but who you want to do some music with? This is right here, that nobody know. Pop it. We make things happen on Million Dollars Worth of Game. I want to keep collaborating with people that push me out of my, <clears throat> my comfort zone. So I just collaborated with the artist named Darko with the Afrobeat song. Okay. I really want to do something with Janae. So Janae, if you see this, Janae Aiko, yeah. I really want to collab with Janae. Like, that's Janae. it. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by BLK. Hey y'all, let me put y'all on to something real quick. I got something you need to check out. You ever heard of BLK app? The BLK app, not black, BLK app. If not, you're missing out. So check it. BLK is the largest dating lifestyle app made specifically for the black community. Now, for those thinking it's just the same old scene, nah. BLK switched things up. Sure, you can find your boo if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for just to make friends, network, group chat with folks based on shared interests or find about events happening near you, BLK, they got all of that too. The app's been around for almost seven years, and over 11 million people have downloaded. Crazy. That's like the population of New York City and L.A. combined. So everybody's on BLK right now. Oh, and did I mention it's free? Yep, free. So if you're trying to network, you're trying to meet a boo, you're trying to find out what's popping tonight, BLK is where it's at. So go to BLK today in the App Store or on Google Play. It's free. It's fun. It's for us. Check it out. And let me know what you think, BLK, right? Mm, yeah. All right, what is it? What I is can your, think of off the top of my head, there ain't too many people that I want to really work with right now. What is your recording process? When you go to the studio, do you got your team there? Is it a certain vibe? Do you got to have certain things in there? When you going to be creative, mm -hmm. like I, what is the whole approach? I be switching it up because just recently I did a little writer's camp in Miami and I had a lot of people in the studio and I realized like I don't like working like that no more but I used to like working like that with a lot of people in the studio and we all just kind of just vibing but lately it's just been me my engineer and like my assistant and a producer who helping me with beats and stuff and I just keep it real small now I need my bottle I need too much I really need just that set the vibe the beats and people I feel comfortable around I don't like a studio full of people you independent mm-hmm how did you know? How, how do it feel being independent? You having songs that's popping out here? I know they was coming with them deals. Why didn't you take a deal? Because I like I just I like to be in control. You know, I don't want my <clears throat> I don't want my independence just taken away from me. Like I'm behind everything. Like the creatives and I see a lot of people when they sign these deals, they complain about they can't do this or they can't release this. Like I like to do stuff on my time when I want to. Like I like running a show. And if it comes, like I'm not against the deal, but when a deal does come, I want it to be like something collaborative, you know? Like I don't want to have to just give everything away and it's like, now I'm just, all this I didn't work hard for it, gone, you know? So, but yeah, and I ain't really hurting for nothing, yeah. You turned down some M's. I didn't turn down a lot of things. All because, all right, now. Can I, can I do, hold on, like, I always want to give a shout because I always shout them because they come through it, they be popped up, look through it. Control, control. Fingers up like this in hands, cause y'all is shining in this joint. I ain't even got damn. nothing on. Yeah, y'all. Like, like, no, I don't. Man, you got four bracelets on over here. <laughs> the blink camera. She got the damn diamonds on every finger, the yeah. wrist. The, I'm saying I'm proud of y'all though. You know what I mean? Some young thank you sisters coming up, doing y'all thing, getting money, pulling up in pink tanks and all types of shit.
God. Well, I'm proud of y'all. So salute y'all and always shout the guys out because they come through here. They, 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 they bust playing. down y'all. They not, not playing. <laughs> y'all got that, you know, that plain expensive on too. I'm noticing. I need y'all to give these sisters the ingredients to bossing up out here. Mm. Because I see the sisters right now, we gonna just be real. Right now we in the figure in our face. PPP came, came through the ghetto, everybody popped they shit, they ran through the bread. Now everybody back at the drawing board and they in the hood and they all out here. So a lot of these sisters watching y'all and they trying to figure out how do I bounce back? Like what is the ingredients is, you know, the bossing up? But what, what game can y'all get them that y'all might utilize in your everyday life? Because y'all got to navigate through the ups and downs, the media coming at you, you know, of uh, being mothers, businesswomen, all. What game could y'all get them to keep y'all strong, to keep y'all still being creative, to keep y'all mindset straight? Like, what game could y'all get a woman that's out there that's trying to figure it out? We was just having this conversation. Like, back back when I really feel like like things wasn't really moving how they moving for me now, I wasn't scared to, like, try different things to, like, make money. Like, I was a hustler. I think people scared. What's some of the things you tried that people would I sold weight gaining products. Like, I was getting on the internet selling waist trainers like I was just doing anything to like make money I didn't care what other was people thought money? I was making money that's what kind of got me started me selling mm. my little weight gaining products yeah. I was like up under this little company called TLC and mm. they were selling like holistic items like yeah I know what it is yeah that but like I was making a lot of money doing that but I didn't care what other people looked at that like you know like I wasn't scared to get on there and just do what I had to do to make money a mm -hmm. lot of people be scared now like they don't want to go get a nine to five job because you scared of what other people gonna think about you. Like, you gotta get out your own way. Mm -hmm. Like, get out your own way and get out your head and just do it, you know? Yeah, I would say just try everything. Yeah. I done sold clothes, yeah. I done sold hair. I sold literally, like, anything you could think of under the sun Hustling. when it comes to, like, boutique, hair, I mean, everything. Mm -hmm. Before I started my actual hair company, I mean, my t-shirt line, I used to sell my own clothes out of my closet. Right. Forever 21 Chilling clothes. clothes on Every Poshmark, on Poshmark, literally selling my own stuff, well, all that. selling out quick. And I'm like, hold up, if I could sell my own stuff that I'm wearing, I need to start my own brand. Mm -hmm. So it takes nothing to start a business. I first started selling my t-shirts off pre-order. Mm -hmm. So all the profit was just going to me, and then I would pay the, pay the person that was making the t-shirts. But now, pre-order is a little dangerous in this world. Where people don't get their stuff tomorrow, they on the internet on your ass. Yeah, but see, me and my guy, I live in the small town, Savannah. Mm -hmm. So it was right up the street from my house. I'm talking, no, I'm talking about now. Oh, this. yeah, now pre order then, is a they little They're going to go crazy. They if, go you don't have a, if you don't have a, connect, a, a, a direct connect that could give you a cool turnaround time, and it's everybody got one of those little spots in their yeah. local city for sure where you could just flip some. Quick, and they gonna, so you're saying don't go to China, go to your local town. Oh, go yeah. to your local town. They might charge you a little more, but you're not losing you're right nothing. There. You you're not, and win. you're not losing nothing. People give you the money before you, you it's not like you crashing out, spending your money before you make it. Mm -hmm. So if you gotta lose a little bit on your, um, on putting the money in, it's okay to take a little L on the yeah. profit. Like, but, but how is it that like, to be honest, right now in this day and time, y'all both did business moves, y'all both making it happen. How much money do a woman need Oh, and some guys gonna get the game too. Like they really start a business. Like I'm talking about the minimum, just to get something rolling. Especially you got all these different apps, Shopify, Clay. You got all type of things to help you. How much money you think somebody need to get something popping out here? You don't need mm -hmm. no money. Yeah. You just need good credit. Cause you can get a loan quick. You can get a line of credit quick if you got good credit. Mm -hmm. And it takes nothing for you to. For the bank to give you that. I, I understand. You talking about the business loan? I'm talking about a business loan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you get a line of credit with your bank if. You apply for it and you got the right, your credit score is high enough. That take nothing. Invest that money into a business. Invest that money into some inventory. Sell the little bit you got, you built your engagement. Okay, boom, do that five more times. You make a profit. Do you ever feel as though, do you ever feel as though marketing? I've seen something take place a couple of years back. I've seen companies come in the game and take, utilize the whole culture to get them to run up a B. Did you ever feel as though that companies took advantage of you or they ain't pay you enough and you promoted Absolutely. their stuff? Absolutely. A hundred percent. And that's why now I put all that power I put into promoting all these different companies and brands on my come up of becoming Jada Waiter or whoever people know me as. Um, I put that into my own business. That's the main reason why when I did take a break from selling hair, selling clothes after I had my son, because I was not selling nothing for like a good two, three years, because it just was like too much on the at the time of me like being pregnant and about to give birth. 
I came up with a plan that whole nine months I sat down and I was like, once I have my baby, I'm doing this shit the right way. Cause before I was trapping out my mama house, I didn't have a warehouse. I didn't have a team. I didn't have employees. So I took all of that money I invested that I lost all my lost money, all the money that I had to save from doing fashion over promotion, all the money I saved up. I literally put that money into my new business, which was wait a minute. I brought a warehouse, I hired employees and I did my shit the right way. And I can honestly say I've, I'm going on two years, about to be three years in September. I'm just now making all my money back from my investment I made after I had my son. So it's booming then, business is booming. Business is going amazing, but you can't, I feel like people started and expect to see all their money quick. And it's like, I can honestly say I'm just now like profiting off my business. But you was running around killing, your booth was running around killing them doing all them uh, bookings. The bookings were treating you good. Oh, the bookings still. <laughs> Because I remember sometimes, I remember uh, I called one of my, my, one of my homeboys called me. He was in Philly. He told me, yo, I'm trying to get Jada in them. And I called somebody, somebody was your peoples. And it, it, I said, listen, connect y'all, y'all talk, y'all talk business. Let me get out of here. He called me back like, yo, she want all that money? I said, man, I don't, I said, how much did they ask for? They said something crazy. I'm like, what, 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 what she, what she And I play? bet you I packed out that club. I was and like, that's a fact. Like, I was like, and she and did all these stipulations, she need this much, she need this right now. I'm like, I said, She need hey. vegan fried chicken. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about, I was like, she went, I, you, she was rapping. You Eight bottles of This was numbers, was, this was numbers <laughs> like she went two times platinum. This type of walk through money, she was getting it. Yeah, shit. and they paid it. And yeah. they made, I'm, I can guarantee you could call him right now, he made his money back. Mm. Better than a lot of these rappers. Like, Period. that's a mm. fact. So and I can stand on that, I can say that with confidence. So if somebody, so somebody want to book you now, how much? So mm. right now I'm at 55. Damn. Right now, yeah, right now, that's I thought it would have went down. Yeah. Because she's a little tight. Went down. Because no, things tight, you know, the promoters ain't. Nah, they, they ain't have, like. The club, going to the club every day. Say no more. They, they keep talking about, it, it, it's slut. They keep talking about like, it's, it's slizzo. Well, that's what they tell the rappers, man. Yeah. She tight, man. I gotta, they they tell paying. Her that. Nah, they paying. I'm you, telling you, they paying. They telling the rappers that. They ain't telling her that. Yeah, nah, they gonna pay. They're like, 50, we got 52500 Can you take that? <laughs> <laughs> she paid nah, it. She'd be like, they gonna, try to bar- they gonna try to bargain with you, though, for sure. She want fifty five. They call her back. We got fifty two thousand five hundred. She be talking about like, y'all killing no. me. I tell them no. I tell, y'all tell them no. Call back. Like, oh my all right, god, man. y'all killing me. <laughs> See if they can get it up to fifty three. <laughs> That's too funny. Look at him. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I want to hear somebody's response. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call this boy, man. He be booking joints in Philly. <laughs> I want to hear somebody's response. That's heavy. Yeah, no. Damn. I remember when I went to Philly. They trying to get me to come back out there, but oh, they trying to pay you another fifty five, huh? No, no, no. Back then, I probably was like 30, mm-hmm. 35. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, why I was 55, like, huh? I'm saying you went up. Dang, that's crazy. The drink campaign, huh? He's playing. I was doing a little bop. What you be doing? Mm-hmm. What you be doing? I do a little one too. So all you want to see your little mini skirt? I'm gonna do it for y'all. So all you do, all you doing is going in there, smoking, getting drinking. I don't smoke. I ain't saying smoke like dude. A B, A A B, listen. Hey, listen, I got I got Jada Jada right here. I know you be booking people. Do you, do, do, do you want her? Jada? Jada Waiter. She right here. Jada she did. Yeah. When, when she come down? No, she can come down whenever you want her. Whenever I want her? Yeah. Right, man, let me, uh, you you wanna know the price? What, yeah, what she want? Fifty five. Fifty five. Fifty five stacks. Uh, all right, let me, um... Is that reasonable? I mean, he is popular, but I gotta see, I, I gotta see, I gotta see, it gotta make sense. I gotta see. But I'm he sure wasn't like, her. what? Just so that ain't saying nothing me. Hustle. 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 You ain't, you ain't, you ain't budge. You ain't been you ain't budge, like, 55,000? He ain't say what that. The f- he ain't say that. Um, all right, let me make some clothes. Yeah, you ain't budge, you ain't it. budge, V. Yeah, you ain't. You say, all right. Let me see what's Ain't going on. Ain't no way to get with my make with ten. You heavy out here, V. <laughs> you heavy, V. Five. All right, I'm gonna hit you though. No I'm gonna plug you right now. Starve it for seventeen five. That's all right, man. Right. Seventeen five. Yo, that's heavy though. And yeah. Ain't budge. Be hustling. No, and, and listen. Ain't budge. And that's a promoter. He's always doing. It. So when you yeah. do the number, I'm like, how you gonna respond? I was. That's yeah. it. Um. Oh, he said she is popular. So she is popular. <laughs> Fifty-five thousand to go to the club for an hour and a half. Is an hour and a half? That's the max. Yeah, an hour. Well, an hour in my contract. 
But I normally I I make all my hostings a vibe. Oh, so, so, I so always stay over. Who? Oh, but it, but is that I'm fifty five thousand. I'm picking up from the hotel at ten thirty. We ready? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, is that all in? That's kind of the travel. Life. Yeah, I pay for my own travel, own security. Yeah, you and you gotta smart. think my outfit smart. gonna be like my outfit gonna cost eight thousand, huh? My outfit it just depends. I, I love expensive shoes. My bag yeah. gonna cost a grip, so it's just all it, oh. it all makes so, sense. So, so y'all together? How much is y'all together on the book? We did a booking together. Nah, they couldn't afford us. They only yeah. had to end up booking us or me. It, it no, we did a booking one time, but anytime we do booking together, it's like she got to come down. I, we just got to. No, no, no. What y'all got is a booking together. We don't really do too many together because it don't they never can't, really they, work. It don't make sense. They don't come. Yeah. So I'll just pop up this on her. She'll pop up this on mine. Mm-hmm. But together, we did one together, but it was her birthday. So I just was like, like give me anything. I'm going to pull up with her anyways. Mm, yeah. Put me on the flyer. Man, man that's, that's good, man. How does it feel to just be running the bags of just going in there and getting that back in? She I'm pulled up in a pink tank. Hey, we got money. <laughs> it's crazy. It's it's a beautiful feeling, mm-hmm. and I mean, I just I don't do it for me. I literally do it for my employees, for my family, for like it's way deeper than just me showing off. So what's next for y'all? Y'all got the y'all got act normal. Welcome to another episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game. Been the spotlight where we give you the game that you need to get you up off that couch. Gil was a couch warrior, so Fuck he understand here. the whole tradition and the culture of being a couch warrior and a basement legend. Dude, just a guy that you know sit down, a woman that sit down in the family crib, not doing nothing, don't want to work, don't want to do nothing. We're gonna make it simple. We bringing somebody back. I'm talking about this guy right here. A legend. Proof of concept. He did this thing. Will changed lives. One thing about Will, Lamborghini he came on Will. here. Lamborghini Will, two time Lamborghini Will. Right. He came on here and he gave y'all. The game on how to make that bread on Amazon as simple as talking about straight to the point. But this time he coming back with the TikTok shop. I'm talking about affiliates. He's going to give you ten products that you. Can, I'm talking about that's like. I'm talking about moving like this on TikTok. A lot of y'all is already on TikTok, so he's going to give you ten products that you can use. You could be affiliate and you could be just like this making it happen. I'm talking about what you need to do. You need to text TikTok to 888-392-1329. 888-392-1329. Mm-hmm. You see it down below now. Will listen, man. Please give these people the game, man, because I'm interested in hearing about it, too. We talked about it, but I want to hear about it even more. Right, let's do it. So for for y'all that don't know me, my name is William Rivera. I've made over $30 million online. And what I learned through making all that money is you don't have to be a genius to be a millionaire. You just have to be early. You know, I made a lot of money with Shopify dropshipping in 2018 because I was early. I made a lot of money with Amazon because I did it in 2020 during COVID. I was early. And right now, TikTok shop is that new opportunity. And what's crazy is a lot of you already have TikTok on your phone and a lot of y'all have a phone. And that's all you need to make money on this platform. Because back then, you would have to be like Kim Kardashian or someone to make money from getting you know paid to post something. But TikTok right oh, now is pushing everyone's videos. I don't need no money. I didn't no, need you, don't, you don't need no money. You just need your phone and TikTok. And uh, Americans right now are spending $7 million a day on TikTok shop. So it's getting as big as Amazon. And what TikTok allows people to do is you can literally post a video like this, reviewing a product that you have laying around in your house, talk about how you like it, and TikTok will push that video. And every time someone watches that video and buys that product, you get paid a commission. You got to put a link? Yeah, you just tag the product, but you don't have to own the product. You don't have to ship the product. As long as it's already on TikTok shop, you will get paid a commission, but it gets crazier. And where it gets crazier is you don't even have to put your face in the video now. You can actually use AI to create videos for you. And those AI generated videos can make you money on TikTok. What do you mean? How, how do I create it if I'm just so so I'm about to so y'all better be taking notes because I'm about to give you the game right here. So there's a software called Eleven Labs. It's an AI software that does voiceovers. And with that software, you can go to ChatGBT and you can type in like Type me a, an ad script for, for Pure, y'all's drink, right? Mm-hmm. Type me an ad script that's 60 seconds long for promoting Pure. And ChatGBT is going to do its thing. It's going to give you a script. You take that script, you paste it into Eleven Labs, and Eleven Labs will give you a voice, a girl voice or a men voice that's reading uh, that script. And then you take that script and you put it into Mid Journey, and Mid Journey is another AI that will create images. And now you have this video that's created by AI that you can post on TikTok that will promote pure or whatever product it is that you're trying to sell. And every time that video brings in a sale, you get paid a commission. So I have kids that are 16, 17, 18 years old, making anywhere between 20 to a hundred thousand dollars a month from videos on TikTok that they're not even showing their face in. Mm. So you mean to tell me how many videos is it? A, is it a max or I mean, is it a minimum? I mean, a max of maximum amount of videos I could post. No, nah, there's so you can post as many videos as you want. And a lot of these kids, you know, they're, posting videos on different products, whatever's trending. You know, right now on TikTok, there's like a 15-day 15 15 day colon cleanser that's going crazy. 
And I have people that are making AI generated videos that are talking about the benefits of that product. And they're making like 500 to $1,000 a day in commissions promoting products like that. So, so, yeah. so you mean to tell me, I, I, I got to understand this. Only thing I'm doing is tagging the product. Uh, right, I'm tagging it. Right. And how do I, I just go on TikTok and type in the product and it Yeah, and it'll pop tag. up. You just tag it to your video. And then when you post it, here, the crazy thing is when you post it, TikTok organically boosts that post because TikTok wants you to make money. Because every time you make a sale, you know, TikTok gets a percentage because it's going through their payment processor. So this is what I believe the easiest way to make money online because you don't need a laptop. You don't need money, you know, and you don't need experience or technical skills or anything like that. As long as you're already scrolling through TikTok, which most of you guys are, you can literally start printing tens of thousands of dollars every single month with the app that we all use already. So you mean to tell me that? If I'm somebody that's on TikTok and I already got a following, right? I can sit at the crib, pull my phone out, create a video. I can even create a video with me in it so that my followers know that, okay, if you deal with this product, let me see if I would like to deal with this right. product. So I can make a video with me in it or me not in it, an AI type of video. And all I got to do is tag them, do a few little things, a, a little minute process, and I can make tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars. Exactly, yeah. We have people that show their face in the video. We have some people that just show their arm in the video, and they're recording like this, holding the product. And then we also have people that just use AI to make the videos for them. And yeah, you just tag the product, TikTok boosts the So where the would you post. find a product at? So it's as simple as, like, we can go to the search on TikTok, and we can type in something like, let's type in like a colon cleanser is going crazy. So colon cleanse. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see it pops up right here. So this guy's promoting it right here. Mm -hmm. And you can see his products tagged right here. Mm -hmm. So this video, it has 34,000 likes, probably mm -hmm. has like over a million views. Mm -hmm. And every time someone taps this button right here and buys this product, he gets $3.70 in commission every single sale. Oh, oh so it mm. shows how much it is? shows the commission right there. Mm -hmm. And every product has a different commission. So think about it. That kid right there, he's promoting the product. Every time someone watches that video and buys it, he's not shipping anything. He has no fulfillment. He has no market. Like, all he did was post that video, and he's probably made well over $10,000 from that video. That's crazy. And you could use this for y'all. Like, y'all could get people to promote y'all's products on TikTok. Like, it's, it's crazy. And like I said, you don't have to be a genius to be a millionaire. You just got to be early. And this right here is, is early. And it keep popping up. He got it popping up on the joint. Yeah, exactly. He's showing it, he's talking about it, explaining it. Mm -hmm. And but he could do the same thing even if he wasn't showing his face. He really he, could just do it with his arm. Mm. You know, e Even if he wasn't in the video. Even if he wasn't in it, yeah. It could just be a slideshow, images, AI voiceover. Mm -hmm. It could just be crazy. Damn. That is unbelievable. That is I ain't going to lie. That's some game right there. If you got TikTok and you sitting at home, and you're a basement warrior, you're not a basement warrior. You need some extra money, life kicking your ass, and you got TikTok, and you on that motherfucker all day, but you're not making no money. Guess who AGOH? Acting goofy out here. You stupid ass. You better start. That's crazy. I can't believe that, bro. Yeah, this is uh, I'm about literally to start selling products on TikTok. The actual terminology well, we got for a million this? followers. <laughs> If y'all did it, y'all would go crazy. I ain't know if y'all did it. But this is literally digital real estate. That person making 561, man. Every every single unit. A sale, man. Every single unit. Go ahead and buy some, man. You need some Ashley Wine to Black no, Sea. No, and, break, and it break down, they're getting 25% commission mm -hmm. on this product. I don't know what product it is. It's a, that's a CMOS. Sea, they got everything in there. Yeah, so any literally products that are laying around in your house that you use every day, if you just look them up on TikTok, they're already there and they already have commission structures set up for you. So you could go into your kitchen, maybe you drink like a protein every day that you like. You could talk about that protein and how it's helped you, et cetera. And that product might have a $5 commission per sale on it. You post that video, you get a million views, you get, you know, a thousand sales. Like you just made five grand right there just posting one video. Mm. And like I said, this is digital real estate because these videos don't just stop getting views. They keep getting views. So one video that you post could make you money a month from now, two months from now, three months from now. And, 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 and the bottom line is the more you hustle, the more money you get. 
So exactly. the more you create videos and you put out videos promoting product, the more money you get. So it's all about your hustle, really. Your whole page because be you might have you might have one product that do okay. That product did this many. That, that product did this many. But oh, boom! Oh, this product took off crazy. Okay, then this product did that. Was putting some money in my pocket. This product did that. This put some money in my pocket. Boom! Oh, right. this product went crazy. So it's all about day cleanse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all about really the work you put in. And TikTok provided a platform for you. They provided everything you needed to set up for you to make some money. Will just gave you the game. He just gave you the game right here, laid it all out on the table for you. Listen, I ain't I don't need to know. I don't need to know who made it. I don't have to ship it. Mm. I ain't got to worry about none of that. Nah. Mm. I could just find a product that I personally use anywhere in my house, find it on there, and tag it. Exactly. And talk about how I use it. And the, the way that I look at it is literally every single video that you post is kind of like a rental property. It's like this video can start making you $100 a day. Then you got a video over here making you another $100 a day. You got another video over here making maybe making you $200, $300 a day. And you just keep posting more and more videos and that monthly income just starts compounding right. crazy. To the point where you're like, I'm quitting work, man. I'm, I'm a TikToker. Yeah. And it, it gets to the point where old. brands start reaching out to you and they're like, yo, you need to promote my products because your right. videos are going crazy. And the funny right. thing about it, when they call, listen, what I need you to do so you get this game because he's going to give you the top 10 products that you can sell on TikTok shop right here, shop affiliate. All you need is Texas. TikTok to 888-392-1329. 888-392-1329. And what is some of the information that you're going to give them with this whole thing, TikTok. Yeah, so what they're going to get is they're going to get 10 products that are trending right now on TikTok. I'm even going to give you the top video that's going crazy for that product so you can mimic it, you can copy the script. And I'm also going to give you a guide on how you can use AI to create videos for you if you don't want to show your face or use your voice. And uh, they're also going to get a free ticket to an event that I'm doing that's mm. completely virtual so you can attend from anywhere where I'm breaking down all the game from A to Z on how to make money with this. And how I've helped other people make money with this. Is you doing it? How, how, how often is you going to do this? So this that, that training, I'm doing it every week. So every Sunday. So every Sunday. And all I got to do is text 888 392 1320, you know, nine, text TikTok to there, and it's game time. Exactly. Damn. Exactly. Give us, could, could we get one major product? You gave us the cleansing. Gil's going to use that because he having problems using the bathroom. <laughs> right. And this whole coal in the store. You talk about when, right. he fart, when he fart on the plane, it'd just be crazy. But what other product do you, can you just give him some? Yes, yeah, so I'll just get, I'll give you an example. Right now, there's a product on TikTok going crazy. It's like a back massager, and mm -hmm. someone did something really smart that I think y'all could also do as well. Is uh, and what they did was they actually clipped a part of Kai Sinat's stream because mm -hmm. Kai Sinat was streaming and he was using that back massager, mm -hmm. and they clipped it. They posted it on TikTok and then they added the product on the bottom. And that video, because it's a so, clip so, of a celebrity, oh, oh, you, you got me. millions of views, and they're earning commissions. So on you mean them. to tell me crazy. they didn't even do no video? They didn't see Kai with it. <laughs> yeah, clipped it to their joint, tagged yeah. the product, people buying the product, and they like, damn, it's Kai. He's familiar. Exactly. So that's crazy. So people be using other people's stuff to just do this. Well, hey, listen, man, you got hustle, hustle that's till they crazy. till they figure out a way not to let you hustle no more. Right. And uh, you know, I got into selling products online back in 2018, and. If you're watching this, just know I had to bust my ass learning graphic design. I had to learn how to market. I had to learn how to run ads. I had to buy, I had to risk my own money buying products, hoping that it would sell. And now you don't have to do any of that right. with this opportunity right here. Right. This is I just think it's crazy, but because the, the AI thing will take it to another level. Yeah. The fact that you got so many people, you can have somebody, like you say, you can snatch somebody's my stuff. They're already promoting the product without promoting it. Right. And say, all right, bang, here you go. Damn, that's crazy. Right, exactly. And there's no limitation to a food products, home care. Any anything. Healthcare. Anything. Anything. And right right now, like the most trending thing on TikTok is supplements. So like those CMOS supplements, mm -hmm. the colon cleansers, because we were talking about it earlier. People like shortcuts. Mm -hmm. They yes. love it. So if you can promote a shortcut, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be your product, but the videos will go viral and you will make money. Mm -mm -mm. And do a kid, do it matter? You know, because some people might say, oh, I don't have a lot of followers, or oh, I don't do that matter. Yeah, no, nah, it doesn't matter because TikTok's a discovery platform. So even if you have no followers, as long as you're making a video promoting a product, because TikTok wants you to sell that product because they get paid, if you get paid, they naturally boost all Do they posts. actually help you get followers? Yeah, it will help you get followers because the likelihood of you going viral promoting a product and then you just posting a regular video, it's higher 
if you're promoting a product because TikTok is pushing all those videos right now. Mm -hmm. You want all that money. Yeah. And like mm -hmm. I said, seven million dollars a day is being spent on TikTok shop right now. Mm -hmm. And it's going so crazy that I don't know if you, mm -hmm. you noticed, but YouTube just came out with YouTube shop. Mm -hmm. And it's because they're copying TikTok yes. because mm -hmm. of how successful that business model is. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's early. You could be going crazy on TikTok shop and be doing the same thing on YouTube shop because YouTube shop has the same structure. Mm -hmm. They pay commissions exactly how you just saw mm -hmm. on the app. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have Will, these, this last minute, give him some game, Will, about just coming up, your come up. Because, because I don't think, for the those that don't know your story, how you came up and you just killed it, went from, you know, doing your thing, trying to figure out life, and now you're here. Give him some of that before we get up out of here. Yeah, I mean, you just got to uh, really, being successful just comes down to making the decision to actually, you know, do the things that you need to do. A lot of you guys watching this know what you should be doing, and it's probably not what you're currently doing. Right. So it's like you just got to make the decision to actually take action towards something that's worked for someone else and then just start implementing for yourself. Because, uh, you know, being a millionaire, making a lot of money, it's not that hard. It wasn't hard for me because literally all I did was I followed the proven blueprint. It's kind of like a GPS. If something's worked for someone else, if you just learn from that person and follow the steps, it's going to work for you, too, as long as you stay consistent and you stay focused. So, I mean, if I were you, c commit first, figure out the rest later. Um, if you're doing the same thing every day, you're going to keep getting the same result. So do mm. something different. Well, listen, man, that's oh, man. another episode of Million Dollars River Game Business Spotlight. We have the one, the only, Will Change Live. We've seen him change lives. You've seen mm -hmm. him change lives on Amazon. Now we got a TikTok shop affiliate program. What you need to do is text TikTok to 888-392-1329, 888-392-1329. Will is going to give you the top 10 products that you can sell on TikTok that's booming, is going out there. He's going to give you a bunch of other game. He got a class every Sunday. Every Sunday he's going to have a class. And this is just a class on this. is other things too. So on that class, I actually break down the TikTok shop game and the Amazon game because I think they go hand in hand. All right, but listen, yeah. man. Check Once again, what you need to do is text TikTok to 888-392-1329. Will change lives because Will will change your life if you let him. And it's just like that. Right! How did y'all come about that? What was the idea for that? Um, and you know, what's the whole goal for that? To just change the narrative, because a lot of podcasts that we see a lot of times, they kind of like with girls. With girls, it just be real sometimes. Low vibe, negative, and stuff like they that. They talking about so, drama. They talking about all the time, and not saying we we're not going to do that. But we want to change but, that narrative. Mm -hmm. You know, put a little more positivity on the internet and in the world. You know, talk about things that we could all relate to, and just like girl talk. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what we did. And I also feel like a lot of people look at me and Des is like, oh, they got it all together. They got mm -hmm. it all figured out. And it's like, we don't. We don't. We're human. We're human. Just like y'all. And we want to show that side because it do sometimes get misconstrued. Like, oh, they feel, they think they all that. And it's like, y'all think we all that because right. we ain't never got on this b said that. Exactly. So um, just to show that realness and that rawness to girls and women because a lot of women mess with our podcast. Um, and just really being intentional with each episode and everything we put out. Like, we want all our viewers to leave with something. That's what's up. The name Act Normal, where did that come from? Like, why did y'all come up with that name? So it's something we used to say years ago. Um, we was in Jamaica. It, it was years ago. That was My 23rd birthday. Um, but yeah, years ago, we was out of town in Jamaica and we was like going crazy. Like, that was one of them trips. We let our hair down, had a ball. Mm -hmm. And um, we was all on the golf cart, and we flipped the golf cart over. Everybody fell. Y'all was cart. sauced up. Yeah, we, we was sauced up. Police was coming, so I was telling everybody, the only way we're going to get out of this situation is if y'all act normal. I ended up getting locked up that trip, too. But mm. You got booked but I, and cooked. I got <laughs> booked and cooked. But anyway, I was telling everybody, act normal. So it just became like a trend. Everybody started just saying it, like, act normal. And it's real shit, because if you act normal in any situation, you just got to play it cool. You going to win. As soon as but you didn't win, you went no, no, to jail. No, 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 I didn't. No, no, no. The from a different situation. No, from a different situation. The police. <laughs> and I still acted normal in that. When I was in that courtroom, I acted normal. But how you going to tell everybody, the only way we're going to get out of this is we act normal. And end up in jail. Five minutes later, <laughs> no, come no, on, no, hit no. the car. No, I swear it was two different situations. <laughs> it was two different situations. Oh, it was two different situations. Y'all come out not too long ago, fin a month. Y'all got a nice amount of subscribers on YouTube, over close to 40,000. <laughs> Y'all got like 700,000 views already. The women is really feeling it. Do y'all think y'all going to go on tour with it? Hit yes. some cities, pull up. You know what I mean? Talk to like, like how, how, you know, how is that looking for y'all? Is y'all building it out on that time? Mm, yeah. Yeah, we thinking big with it, for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a little scary because 
we are on episode two and we have been receiving like the first episode was cool but the second episode it, we've been receiving a little backlash so that's kind of yeah. scared us a little bit but then we sit and we think about it like this will come with it yeah so like this only gonna happen a thousand more times if we keep going so mm -hmm. we really just learning how to have that fuck it button yeah literally mm -hmm. and knowing when to press it because this that's what we signed up for yeah that's, that's definitely the, the move uh, y'all just got to keep like in this whole game you just got to keep being you. Yeah. Literally. Like, you, you know what I mean? You got to keep doing you, and you got to be consistent because, you know, you'll put it out. People start looking for it. Then all of a sudden, you disappear. Yeah, we don't want to like, be like that. Like, yeah. So how did y'all want to do it? Once a month? or? So we plan to drop two episodes a month. Yeah, that's it. We said two. That's good. Damn, look. Look at it already. Already. Get late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no. We talked about this. We talked about this. We said... Uh, that's once a month. Yeah, once a, we said once a month. I, oh. I think, though... That uh, the most important thing is to just not give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, but that's so easy. Um, what would y'all suggest? How, no, how? no, no, it's easy to do. Yeah, let's interview y'all. Yeah, how how many times do y'all think we should? Drop? I, let me get this. I think y'all should drop more than twelve times. I think, I think that that makes people wait too long, especially when you hot. Yeah, you know when when Power first came out, people couldn't wait the next Sunday to see it again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's only an hour, probably 45 minutes, however long y'all do it. So I think if you're going to do it, you shouldn't play with it. You should do it for real because there's a lot of money in this. In this. You know what I mean? Way more money than you could ever imagine. Hey, Charlemagne. Hold up. Hey, Charlemagne. You hear me? Yes, sir. Black Effect. I need to. I need to get a couple million for Black Effect. I got somebody. I got somebody y'all might be interested in. How many? Two, three. How many million? Who is it? How many million? Is Des the and Jada? Is Des the and Jada waiting? <laughs> Act normal podcast. Des the and Jada waiting, man. Jada, oh yeah, I got to look at the numbers. But they already got one started. Yeah. yeah, they got. They listen. They got thirty-seven. They got like close to forty thousand subscribers. They only put two episodes out. They went over seven hundred thousand already. Like this shit is real, and, and, and you know they all they personal they personal <laughs> fan base is. Millions, which y'all got about six all together, six million. No, she got 8.9. She got, but they got like 10 million together because she got, you got 8.9. Mm -hmm. And she got, got two million, they personal joint. How many people listening to the podcast? Bro? Listen, we listen, bro, that, I told you what she got already. 700, that is good, Bill. Huh? What'd you say? We said 40,000 in two episodes. No, I said, I said 40,000 subscribers, 700,000 uh, views already. They only put two episodes out. Sure, let's look at the numbers. I ain't, I'm, I'm not against that. But, but, you know, no. but we talking about like you got like y'all got like y'all y'all got like three. I yeah, he got the three. Got like three million. Tw listen, Man, what are you talking about, Wallo? No, no, listen, <laughs> no, listen. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, is twelve episodes a year. But we can we can push it. We can push it. Hold up, we're not talking about the torn. Hold up, let me get this kill. We're not talking about the torn. You know it's gonna be popping. They, they 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 mess with these girls. I'm telling you right now to get in early. If I'm calling you, you know I know what the f I'm talking about. Oh no, you don't call me about no bullshit. Never. So yeah, this me. I'm gonna let you look yeah, at it me. and I'm gonna get you the information and then you do what you do what you need to do. Absolutely. You, you, you and Gilly got a million dollars a piece in y'all back pocket right now. Wherever y'all got right but now. But I'm just saying Stop throwing my money out there. Stop throwing my money out here. What are you doing, man? I'm old. I'm with Nike sweatsuit today, man. <laughs> I don't yeah, say that. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? I ain't got no money, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucked up out here, man. All right, but listen, this is what I'm going to do. I still got ashy hands, nigga, drug dealer hands. All right, but listen, I'm just letting you know. 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 And definitely, next year, Black Effect Podcast is on Atlanta, so, or wherever y'all going to be. Charlamagne, if it sound to me, it sound like Reds off of the movie where you try to do a bootleg deal or something. I'm not doing a bootleg deal. You try like you try to. I don't do bootleg Like, soon as he ain't going to chew, he's going to be like, give me 5%. Yeah, I'm not going to tell him nothing like that. I don't even know. Charlamagne, Charlamagne, now hold up, hold up. Has I ever called you and wanted to split from anybody that I introduced you to? Well, Never. Everything, everything Wallow do is genuine from the heart. He just be trying to look out for people. So let me ask you a question, Charlamagne. Why the f am I splitting this shit with him 50 50? Because y'all cousins. I don't give a f about none of that. He don't even dig. Yeah, really, but listen. He don't even dig. He don't even dig. That's crazy. Ain't we the Jada already rich? She rich as hell. Yes, yeah, so, she is. Pulled up in a pink big ass. Yeah, but, no. but, but they got to do with business. With, with pink clothes on and shit. Listen, Charlamagne. Like, I got some clothes I'm gonna on. I'm going to you up. You're going to go later play. and figure this out. You can hook them up. Whatever. You can just sit down. You and Dolly can figure it out. Have a meeting with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw me up. But wait to Jada Rich. So it's hard to go. Her name is Jada Wade. You're old.
Man, right just how I know you 50 something, man. Way you talking about Wade and Jada, man. Charlamagne, what the f is you doing? You talking about Wade and Jada? I'll hey, hey, Charlamagne, the rich is hard to negotiate with, ain't they? You said what? Well, I said them rich is hard to negotiate with, ain't they? Man, Jada way the rich. She's so rich. It's just, that's what I'm saying. It's like God. Damn, I don't want to. You don't want to disrespect them with numbers. You know what I, I mean? Know. But the podcast world just a different world. But she she already rich. Like nah, we we we. Got Dad's rich money. too. She got money over there. Me. Don't forget Dad. She got paper. Yeah, Listen, she there, got a million dollars worth of jewelry on right now. What? <laughs> she got custom chain right on that. Right now, she got a dad's got a million dollars worth of rings on. Just the rings. The just the rings. rings. Two fifty a piece. So Y'all in Philly? No, we in Philly. We in Atlanta. We in Atlanta. So, so you can believe. Yo, you be thinking Philly just the worst place in the world, man. It is. That's why I don't go there. She said, "That's why I don't go there." Philly really treacherous. Hey, Philly the stud capital. I was in Philly Thursday. Philly the stud capital. Nigga, what you doing coming to Philly? They check in. It ain't checking with me and Gil. You came to Philly, ain't checking. You posing, see? I checked in with all the studs. The studs held me down. The studs was holding me down. <laughs> 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 because you look like one some days, though. I <laughs> All right, listen, I'm out of here. I'm going to call you, man. I'm going to give you the information. This is crazy. <laughs> crazy. No, but see, like, a, I'm going to say this. There's a lot of money in this shit when you got numbers and you can do it. Because when we started, I had a half a million. How much you had, cuz? Half a million followers? Oh, I had 1.1. He had 1.1. I had a half a million followers. And we just stuck to it. So the game is, y'all just do y'all thing. That shit happened fast. It happened yeah. fast, but I'm gonna say this. Y'all gonna have episodes where people gonna have their opinion and they might like not like what you say, but that's in it. You gotta go through it. Right. You gotta go through that shit. Everything ain't gonna be perfect. If you scared, this shit ain't for you. Cause it's gonna be, it's gonna be blogs, it's gonna be hating about y'all success. Cause you already gonna get to hate because you're already popular. Mm -hmm. So blogs gonna be hating, they're gonna be trying to find any little thing to pick at through your joint to get clickbait. So yeah. that's part of the shit. That's what we're going through right now. A lot of the yeah. they gonna do ain't even gonna be what you said. Right. Nope, they gonna be mixed. You didn't so watch the video. Y'all like the They gonna watch. chop and screw it. Yeah. Say you said some shit you didn't say. Yeah. You gonna find yourself out there explaining. I didn't say that shit. Yeah. Because the average person ain't going to watch the whole episode right. to understand the context mm -hmm. of with, with how, how it was built up and what right. you said. So they just like, oh my God, they said it. Next right. thing you know, you look up, that shit went viral. Mm -hmm. But guess what? A bunch of people came to start watching it that really with you. Right. Don't okay. even worry about haters. Hey, is your marketing team. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. An example of that, you know what I mean? We had interviewed somebody. It was some sensitive <laughs> being said, you know, about somebody else. They called me. They felt some type of way, you know what I mean? They didn't even watch the joint. They just seen a clip on social media and jumped in their feelings for some type of way. Then after they watched the whole joint, like, oh, now they okay. got to double back in the, I fought OG, mm -hmm. you wasn't on no bull I seen, I, I, yeah. we don't be on bro. We ain't, we not that podcast, that we not that, that joint, we don't get what you going through with your baby father, when you got locked up with the gun, oh, you were shooting at somebody. We don't give a about none of that. We here to amplify what you got going on and help you get some money, give out game that's got its attention, motivation, and education. And I hope y'all got some game from these two lovely women right yes. here today. But I have another question for What's we What's that? Y'all started y'all's podcast always with guests or it was no guests. it was us two they first. started hitting us up and like yo i love to come kick it with y'all oh okay it was so just you, me and him so did, where did. would y'all get y'all like how would y'all switch it up each episode where did y'all get y'all's um topics and yeah. or y'all just was chopping it up and it just did what it did. well well we had certain segments yeah stories okay. from the cell you know you did 20 prison. years in jail okay so he would talk about stories about how they you know you know they did different things to him in jail get the you know what I mean? <laughs> it was very interesting, you know. What I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he talked about how he woke up one day and Sully was laying at the same He lied, he lied. All like. kinds of shit. Then we had, you know, just different type of topics. Who would you be? You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you had a chance to be anybody in, in Destiny Child, who you would have been? Would you have been Kelly Rowland? Would you have been Beyonce? Would you have been, did we pick? It was just different shit. We was just random. Yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Just really yeah. So just how did y'all stay creative? How did y'all yeah. stay creative? Uh, just, just we we sit down sometimes and just just go over stuff. Sometimes we go over. And sometimes we come off the top. Mm -hmm. Most of the time we went off the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just like with this, I don't know what the f we was going to talk about. 
But once we get started, it's on. Everything Let's get it. Right. Maybe we should try that. Because right yeah. now, we be like having everything. Listen, yeah. y'all over we overthink it. We Listen, let me just say this. Don't let social media roll up so much where y'all can't even breathe. Oh, I got I to gotta go this way because they're going to say this. I got to do this. They're going to say it even if yeah. it's... If right. you come out with pearly, pearly, nice white stuff on, it's clean. Oh, yeah, she's in the world. That, that was a bad look. Like, look at these like everybody going, listen. Like it's no satisfying. It's gonna be people. It's gonna be people that's going. It's gonna be people that's gonna be feeling you, and then it's gonna be people that's gonna be mad because their life not right. It ain't even got nothing to do with y'all. It's that I gotta keep seeing these people win, and I lost a life, and I ain't materialized my dream. So I gotta blame them. I gotta be mad at them for their success and how they climbing. So that's the game where we come from, especially coming from the hood. You know what I mean? Black America, that's how I be sometimes. It's everybody fault for people's failure. They don't want to be accountable and say, I didn't do what I needed to do to materialize Literally my dream. Literally take accountability for y'all. Nope, no, ain't nobody doing that. Yeah. Accountability don't even exist. Our hood, the entitlement and lack of accountability is two major things. Yeah. So it's like, at the end of the day, fuck them. But you better pop it. Because if you don't pop it, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be somebody else coming to pop and, it. And okay. The, and the bottom line is you should never live your life based off no fears mm -hmm. of what people think about you. Mm -hmm. That don't matter yeah. at all. I don't give a f one thing about me here. Tell you he this don't, don't give a f about nothing. Cause the only thing I give a f about is my family, God, and then bank account. Mm -hmm. Now you start f with my bank account, Nick. <laughs> you want a reaction? <laughs> you f with them zeros. You don't. My zeros, my family, and don't come in between me. I, I don't give a f about nothing in the world other than smoking weed. That's it. Right. Like, life to me is not that f serious. Like, but you mean to tell me this could be a 16 year old boy in Nova Scotia comment some sh on me and I'm supposed to care? <laughs> no. F you little buddy <laughs> I don't care so do you know what type of energy it takes for a mother to see something if I see something I don't like I just say oh look at this shit. I keep right, scrolling I keep you know what type of energy it takes for a mother to sit there and type some negative shit yeah. towards you yeah that is immediate indication that they are not happy with the person That's that they see on the other side of that we're looking back at them. That's true. Mm -hmm. When I wake up every day, I'm happy as shit. My wife's feet look like she laid in a baby crib that she was 25. Like she just started walking on them. Like my kids is healthy. My mom is healthy. My dad is healthy. What the f am I got to complain about? Right. And I woke up and got another day to be able to chase this f dream of mine. Come on, man. Yeah, I feel like we do definitely. We at a stage where we start to look too much into it, mm -hmm. and then the moment you start doing, it, I feel like that's the moment you let them win. So yeah. you gotta, you can't let them get too much. Can't out get too invested. In he will tell you the funniest thing to me is the comments. He love the comments. I love when they grind me up. I sit there and read that. Shit, I be funny. crying real tears. Like <laughs> we like these is crazy. <laughs> that's the funniest shit to me because it's some real comedians in them comments. Yeah, man. nah, for real. And then sometimes y'all gotta be under. Y'all gotta understand that. A lot of times, it's people that you know in them comments behind mm -hmm. fake names. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That be the gag. That, that, that's the yeah. one. That's the one. They be mad. Yeah. And they don't know how to just say it. People, you might have just been at the club with a nice, but just kicking mm -hmm. it. They in there right the little popping it because they just they really hate you. Yeah. Because yeah. we live in a time of jealousy. We live in a time of everybody trying to compete for stuff. Everybody mm -hmm. wants stuff they're not willing to work for. Right. Uh, so it's like, everybody want to look like they doing better than what they doing. Yeah. 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 So, Instead of actually just going you know to work in. Just by I'm saying that, I'm tired of you all seeing you old ass in fights with them full of Gucci. Stop this <laughs> Got Gucci's all over. You 50, <laughs> man. Gucci's all over the sneaks. That shit. <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm tired of these old <laughs> You coming through and you got Gucci's all over. Bro, if you that old man, you supposed to come through. You got some Gucci. That shit's supposed to say Gucci right here, man. My yeah, real minimalist. Mm -hmm. Till they get up on your day. Now, before we get out of here, ladies, what y'all want to say to the ladies? I'm talking about, like I'm talking about flag. pop it, y'all. Give it to the ladies. Tell the ladies whatever y'all want them to know, wherever you want them to follow, whatever you want them to buy. But give them something, man. Go ahead. Y'all got it from here. 
Follow me on Instagram at the number one Des Dior. And mm. also follow our podcast. The Instagram is the Act Normal Podcast. It's the Act Normal Pod on YouTube. And the Instagram, <laughs> Instagram is Act Normal, Normal Podcast. Podcast. Follow both of those platforms. Subscribe. Watch our two episodes. Leave comments. And we just made an email. So we accept them like... Um, you can like y'all can ask for advice. Ask for drop, advice. Yeah, talk to us. We're gonna talk about it in the videos if it makes the cut. So yeah. Um I don't really have much to say. Y'all you better say something. All them goddamn businesses you got. No, I'm saying y'all wait a minute. No, I wanna give y'all some some advice. I would just say get you a plan, stick to it, and always be ready to adapt in case some sh- and your plan don't go as planned. Mm-hmm. Be ready to figure it out um, and make whatever happen happen. And stay consistent. You gotta stay consistent. I wouldn't have got this far if I wasn't consistent. So yes, make sure y'all follow me, Jada Chivas, Wait a minute, brand Fidel Kids, the Act Normal brand. I mean, Act Normal podcast. Period. And stream favorite girl. Oh yeah, Amy stream my girl. stream my girl song. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now listen, it's going down. Check out the Act Normal podcast. Go follow them. Go mess with them. Uh, listen to Dad's music. Download, stream, check out on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, wherever they got music, wherever you want to listen to. Check the podcast out everywhere. But, you know, it's on YouTube right now. You can see the visual. Check that out. Uh, go get some of that. Wait a minute. You know what I mean? Book them to come come to your city. The tour is coming. The tour is coming. The tour is coming. No, no. See, see, if you can't book them straight on up. Just catch them when they go on tour. So like, no. That's the Chico. Y'all girls are going there. It's going to be a great vibe. It's going to be down, man. Check them out. Listen, man. Another episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game. Yes. You know what I mean? This is a million dollars worth of act normal. Y'all got the game for the ladies. They gave y'all the game. They charge up. They gave y'all the ingredients to win. Everything you need to know. Check them out. And it's just like that. Right. <laughs>